Now that we've completed our D-type bank, a couple of things that might be worth knowing. First of all, we should check that this axis here is running along the, so that would be the X axis. This one here is the Z axis, and this one here is the Y axis. And if we look up here at the 3D compass, that exactly lines up with uh, what I just said. So we've set the thing up correctly in space. Some other things that you will need to know is over here, this white line, now where that white line is dictates what we see on the screen. So for instance, if I right click on the pad and choose define in work object, I now only see the items above the white line. So having chosen that, I can now only see the pad which created the original shape. If I right click on that and define the in work object, now I've got the mirror and the pad, but I still don't have the hole. And of course if I go back to where I was, I've now got the entire object. Now um, the other thing that might be worth knowing is that in order to proceed with making the car, what we want to be able to do is to turn off the mirror but keep the hole so that we can start to shape the block. And so in order to do that we need to shift the mirror command to the bottom of the tree. And this is how we do it. We click off, I'm going to right click on the mirror and then go down to the bottom and a command called reorder. So I choose that. Now feature reorder, it's now asking me what would I like to put the mirror after? And of course, I would like to put it after the hole. So I now click on hole, choose OK, and now I'm back to the pad. Only one problem, I can't see the hole. Well, but we already know the answer to that. All we need to do now is choose the hole and define the in-work object. Now, we're ready to work on our car. The thing being that if we work on the shape of what's happening with this side of the car, when we're happy with what's happening on this side of the car, we can then turn on the mirror and everything that we do on this side will be immediately mirrored exactly on the other side.